A young Egyptian journalist is among the dead after snipers opened fire. A female reporter for France 24 was brutally attacked and sexually assaulted. In Egypt, a country that ranks third among the world's most dangerous countries for journalists. <laughs> among the lowest ranking in terms of free expression, and where tens of journalists languish behind bars, the Egyptian Media Women Union was created out of dire need for a support network. Egyptian women journalists rarely make it to decision-making positions in media organizations, so we decided to work on enhancing their skills in the hope that this would allow them to reach senior positions. Also, when I go to protest sites to cover, I often face sexual harassment. When we see young girls coming from um, very remote areas in Egypt and we, we hear their stories about how the society also, you know, still in certain places looks at, jur at journalism as if it's a taboo. Oh my God, you're going to meet men and interview them and stay out late. So socially there is a restraint and of course politically there is a restraint. Offering legal, moral and professional support to journalists, in particular women journalists, the union acts as a bridge between veteran journalists and fresh graduates of journalism. Lack of funds and absence of a culture of volunteerism were just some of the obstacles the founding members of the union faced in creating their organization, says Safa Abdel Hamid, the founder of the union. Since its establishment, the union has organized hundreds of training workshops, tackling a host of topics from journalistic ethics and safety in the field to script writing and photography. Trainees say they've benefited a great deal from the sessions and are now ready to take on the challenges head on. The most important things that I've learned from the workshop are some of the ethics that should be taken into consideration when we are reporting. I'm a print journalist, but I want to change my career to become a photojournalist. That's why I'm here to study photography. I feel that a picture can reflect reality better than a written story. And women journalists aren't the only members of this union. Men too have come on board both as trainees and trainers. My former boss was a woman, Randa Shahar. She was head of the photography department before me. I learned a lot from her. I'm proud to be part of this network. Practical training is as important as academic work. The two go hand in hand if you want to be a good journalist. Looking ahead, board members of the union hope to build on their successes and extend their outreach to cover the whole of the country. They dream of a new Egypt where journalists practice journalism as it should be practiced, seeking truth and reporting it.